In Champaign County, we know that 13.5% of people are uninsured. That means they have no insurance at all, including Medicaid. We also know that a great many more are underinsured and have no access to health care, and they cannot even afford their co-pays should they have insurance. Those numbers weren't much better in 2009. Therefore, a group of local professionals decided to take action and discuss what they can do about the situation. And on January 23, 2010, Abyssinia Community Health Center opened its doors. Abyssinia is a Muslim-led initiative based in Champaign, working under the teachings of the Quran that saving the life of one person is like saving all of mankind. I'm Irfan Ahmed, the founding member of Avicenna Community Health Center. Uh, Avicenna was uh, born and established uh, after several years of uh, legwork in the community. It is primarily uh, meant to provide uh, the, the healthcare services to address the healthcare disparities in Champaign County. Uh, we uh, actually gathered together a group of primary care physicians and other healthcare providers to provide these sort of much needed services. The numbers have been huge in the, in, in, uh, locally and they reflect the national trends in terms of the uninsured residents of Champaign County. We feel that uh, with the new healthcare uh, program for, uh, coming out of uh, the Congress and the President's initiative, uh, there will still be uh, 23 million Americans who will read uh, need healthcare. Hi, I'm Dr. Sadiq. I'm one of the medical um, personnel who's uh, volunteering at Avicenna. My role is, uh, of course, as a medical doctor, so whenever I see a patient, I make sure that uh, I address his medical aspects, which includes the physical problems, the emotional problems, the social problems, the emotional problems, so treating the person as a whole and uh, uh, not just individually uh, uh, taking care of his medical problem. So when we treat these patients, they come with a lot of fears and apprehensions because they already have underlying social issues going on uh, where we have to calm them down and uh, tell them that we are here to help you um, as a total personality and we are not just here going to brush you off, treat your medical problem, give you refills and you're off on your own. As far as medical problems are concerned, of course we have our limited resources, so within our uh, resources available, we try to address acute issues and preventive issues. We emphasize on uh, our three main goals are hypertension, diabetes, and uh, health education. So because these are chronic medical problems, we want to make sure these patients are addressed periodically. So. But um, beyond acute medical care, our emphasis is on prevention. So for that, we involve the nutritionists who give them education in terms of diabetic education, in terms of what to avoid with hypertensive patients, in terms of other preventive measures like how to overcome obesity, how to lower your cholesterol. So like I said again, it involves, uh, it involves both uh, tr taking care of the medical uh, issues and having continuity care which involves uh, emphasizing on preventive care. So working together is the core measure of Avicenna, that we all work together as a team in helping this person to get better. And when he walks out of the door, he has a big smile on his face. In addition to Avicenna being a health center, it is also an interfaith academic community partnership, where communication between different faiths is valued above all with emphasis on creating effective dialogue between members of our community. Hello, I'm Ben Miller. I'd like to take just a few minutes to talk to you about uh, some of the things I think are very important uh, related to the Avicenna Community Health Center. I've been involved with ACHC for the last several years. I think that uh, the model that ACHC is presenting and developing is extremely important. Uh, in this community and frankly for our country. Uh, here we have uh, difficulties with the overflow of persons in the community and families that do not have health insurance. And our federally qualified health center at Francis Nelson is really oversaturated. 
so that often the only recourse these patients and, and families have is, are the emergency rooms of our large hospitals, which they can place burdens on them. So ACHC is really involved in three areas of their mission. One is to provide health care services to the uninsured and the underinsured, and to do health prevention activities in the community, such as screenings for diabetes and blood pressure and the like. And the area that I'm really most interested in, and that's health education and outreach, uh, particularly for the vulnerable and at-risk populations. I think if you look at the partnership of uh, ACHC with the Champaign County Christian Health Center, that in a way typifies the, the effort on the part of Avicenna to reach out across cultures and religions and backgrounds to form uh, partnerships that really demonstrate their interest in being uh, a community partner for those that have the greatest needs. So whether we're talking about the uh, Hispanic immigrant population, the homeless, or those with very low incomes that do not have access to health care because they don't have health insurance, or they're extremely underinsured, uh, Abacena is at the forefront in meeting those needs of that population and continues to build these partnerships across cultures and religions and backgrounds and working particularly with the student population to give them some opportunities to have experiences in the community that I think will help shape them into a, a cutting edge 21st century uh, health workforce. Being on a campus town, Avicenna relishes the youthful input that the students bring. Pre-med students frequently come by for training or assistance on some of their class material. They are provided with real-world experience that will certainly benefit them once in med school. Avicenna is a nonprofit that is completely run by volunteers and donations. So stop by Avicenna Community Health Center over the weekend and say hi.